Hi friends, I'm again back with a very interesting topic and today I'm going to talk about the difference between CPK and PPK. By the time this video will end, you will understand what exactly is CPK, what is PPK, whether actually there is any difference between that and if at all is that, how we can understand about that. Well, if you think about any couple, boy and girl, before the marriage, you will find them, they are coming up in the best of their dresses. They are always before time and they are always trying to present best about themselves. But after the marriage, many times things changes. Now, they are not always showing the best of their dresses. They are not in their best of their makeup and they are not always on time. Something similar happened with respect to CPK and PPK study also. When we talk about SP study as per AIG second edition, the most important thing which is being discussed is variation. And we all know that variation is inherent in nature. Irrespective of anything, whatever we do, variation is bound to be there. It is as simple as that. Say, for example, if I'm walking from here to there, 10 steps, and then if I again try to do that, if I'm going to have the same steps at the same place, we know the answer is no. So it means there is always some variation. And when we talk about variation, there are six different kind of variation that's called 6M. Men, machine, material, method, mother nature and measuring instrument. So in an organization, there is bound to be some variation. And when there is some variation, there is sort of some rejection which can produce. So the main objective is not to eliminate the variation, but to minimize the variation as much as possible. So when we talk about the difference between PPK and CPK, my main focus will be to talk about the basic concept rather than talking about the complicated formulas which we can very easily use by using Minitab. So let me share the key difference between CPK and PPK. When we talk about CPK, primarily it is called process capability while PPK is called process performance. When we talk about process capability that is CPK, so it basically it is talking about that whether the process can potentially meet a specification and it is a prediction of the ability of the process to meet a specification. Wherein when we talk about PPK, it's talking about how the actual process is performing over a period of time. Generally, when we talk about CPK, it is a potential of a process to meet a specification, whereas PPK is how the process is actually doing on long term. CPK is generally using a subgroup of data while PPK is using the whole process. While CPK data, while we are gathering the data, we can skew the data because we are not considering everything like the special cause. But when we talk about PPK, it's more realistic because it does not cut the real data because we are including all kind of causes, special cause as well as a common cause. CPK is calculated by using within standard deviation while PPK is using the overall standard deviation. And to talk about one more key difference, that when we talk about CPK, it is within the subgroup and does not account for shifts and drift between the subgroups, while PPK accounts for the overall variation in the measurement system. Now, we are always interested to see the graphs, that how the graphs perform when we say CPK is this or PPK is this. So let me share some example with respect to that. So if you can see on your screen, you will see for CPK, there are four different graphs. The first graph is talking when the CPK is one. So you can see the upper specification limit and the lower specification limit is almost touching the graph, right? So that's why CPK is 1. While in the second example, the CPK is 0 because the location has shifted tremendously. That's why it is happening. While when we see the third graph here, CPK is 1.67 because the entire process is located in the center and it is very much safe in nature. While in the fourth case, again, the location has shifted. That's why the CPK is coming out to be 0.33. Now, similar graphs are there with respect to PPK also, wherein if you see the four graphs are identical to CPK, wherein the PPK is 1 in the first case and 0 in the second. And in the third case, it is 1.67. And in the fourth case, it is 0.33. So it means the data is same. The calculation is almost similar to both. Now, as I said earlier that at times we are very much interested to see the formulas. Now, if you see on your screen, you will see that the formula for calculating CPK and PPK is almost identical. If you see the formula for CPK, it is saying USL minus X double bar divided by 3 sigma. While when we talk about PPK, 
it is talking about usl minus x double bar divided by 3s where s is talking about the standard deviation so that is the only difference because it is talking about calculation for the entire population now statistics is all about data and if we manage the data it can give different kind of result so if you look into the screen and if you see the first case where i'm just trying to tell that how cpk and ppk can remain same in that case if you see the subgroup you will find that all the subgroups seems to be identical and that's why the cpk is coming out to be 1.13 while ppk is coming out to be 1.07 almost similar while on the other end when we manipulate the same data and we exchange the data from here to there different subgroups but the data remains same then we can see a very interesting thing now if you see here the subgroups are quite near to each other the gap is very less and that's why the cpk shoot up and this coming out to be 3.69 while ppk is still 1.07 so it's just a jugglery of data wherein in case we manipulate the data the same data now can show cpk good so that gives a purpose that whenever we are calculating cpk if we also see that how much ppk is coming that gives an idea that whether the data is genuine or something has been done to make sure that cpk look good because whenever say we are doing audit or maybe in an organization we always just try to focus only on cpk that if it is coming good we feel that everything is good but whether the data is real or not that can be seen by comparing it with ppk well regularly i'm getting a lot of feedback from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectation so please do continue that in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video you'll find a link below if you click that you'll find a blog there there you find more information with respect to that and in case you are liking these kind of blogs and videos you can always share with your friends and colleagues and you can subscribe to my youtube channel and my website bhavimangla.com thank you